Welcome to Root Beer Circus. Tums, you know. Welcome back to Bedtime Reviews. Take care of that GI. My name's Steve. <laughs> you must just say Sammy. No, you're Sammy. I'm Sammy. I'm Steve. And uh, we're coming to you uh, pre-recorded from our bed. Mm -hmm. What did we just get back from? The store? No, what else? I almost just said Batman. We saw Spider-Man. <laughs> we did. Spider-Man Far From Home. Far From Home. He wasn't close to his home. No. He wasn't in New York. Spoiler. No, this this is the non-spoiler section. Oh. Um, he might have been in New York. If you saw the reviews, you know he's not in New York. I mean, the previews. This is something. <laughs> this is my hand. I know, it's in my face. I can see it. Oh. Um, Spider-Man. Love Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah. Gotta start off with that. He really is incredible. He's a good, good boy. He's the perfect Spider-Man, really. I agree. Um, a lot of, nope, that's a spoiler. You how go. about, how about what did you like about the movie before any spoilers? I liked, um, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Yeah? I like Zendaya. What did you like, did you like Jake Gyllenhaal? I thought he was cool. He was I, good at playing crazy. I liked him, actually. I trusted him. He was so strappingly handsome in this, too. With he, the beard? Yeah. He was, mm. They made his eyes all icy blue. They you did. were kind of like, aww. It was dreamy. All right, um, well, he obviously paid more attention to Jake than anything else. Yeah, Jake's, Jake Jidge is, is good. Um, Jake who? Jidge. That's not even how his name... Jakey Jidge. Okay. Hey! Next, moving on. Um, What didn't you like about the movie? I wish there was more Mary Jane. Yeah. Can we do spoilers now? I guess so, Look yeah. Look at, you know what, Spider-Man? There was trouble. He went to help. Hey, you know what's... There was some turmoil. So that was the non-spoiler. What's tough... All right, here's the spoilers. Beep! Uh, it's tough to talk about this movie without talking about spoilers, because a Cause lot I just, of... Because I just explained every Spider-Man without spoilers. No, but a lot of things happen. Lots of things happen in this movie. Uh, following up uh, end, Avengers Endgame, where everyone got snapped back. To reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny, too? A lot of people were complaining online that some people hadn't seen Endgame in the trailers of this movie... Reveal. If you hadn't seen Endgame right now, yeah. get lost. Dude. You're a big baby. You're a Go big watch old a movie, baby. you loser. It was like the second highest grossing movie ever. Yeah, dude. Watch so, Titanic first, then watch that. Yeah. I don't know if Titanic was the first one. It was. It was one of them though. It was um, like three. Yeah. Um, Ned, his sidekick Ned. Yeah. Got like a, a summer vacation girlfriend, which was cute and it was like funny. It was very adorable. But there, they could have been more MJ. I just feel like there wasn't enough MJ. Dude. Yeah. The girl that played MJ was really good. She hasn't She's had many. Awesome. She hasn't had a big part in the other. She probably spoke like fifteen lines. Yeah. The whole movie. She was very. She was a good balance of awkward teen, mm -hmm. dark sense of humor, mm -hmm. um, and she figured out that Peter Parker was Spider Man, which was pretty cool. Spoiler. We're in spoilers. Jesus Christ! This is what spoilers are. Why are you screaming? Because you don't get it. I was, don't know how to I do made reviews. a joke. Do you guys know what We're a joke is? We're canceling this show. Um, Good night. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's my all right. I sat down in the car with Sam and I said, "Hey, I didn't like this movie." Hence his attitude towards me right now. And she was like, "Really?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know, I was on board all the way up until the point where Jake Gyllenhaal's character Mysterio goes bad and like why he went bad." Yeah. And they pretty much just like stole from stole characters from the other Iron Man movies him included, and said that, well, he used to work for Tony Stark, and he actually invented that hologram stuff that Tony Stark used in the other movies. And then he fired him, and then he fired a bunch of other people. It was just like... Andy named it Barf, haha. Ha. So, what a slap in the face. So all those, like, the villain of this film was really a Tony Stark Iron Man villain, not a Spider-Man villain. 
Yeah. It was and just a bunch of disgruntled employees who had technology. And in the trailers, and it's tough like to be like, well, in the trailers, this, that, but they kind of tease a multiverse in Marvel. And what's tough about these Marvel movies is you're coming off of Endgame, which was so epic, you know, and the whole Infinity Gauntlet thing. And I, I feel like they were trying to make a, a smaller story, but they, like, they just, they quit on it. They chintzed out. And they took the easy route, which is tough because Marvel movies have been so dope. All right, well, you're a wet blanket. Um, Peter Parker got these really, got a sick uh, post-mortem gift from Tony Stark, which you'll see. Um, I won't say what it is because that's a spoiler. That's a deep spoiler. How about that? You yell, you yell at me for giving away too much. No deep spoilers. He got a cool thing. Um, he struggled with being a kid and being a superhero, and it was, like, so sweet to watch. Um, Venice is nice. I just, you were just being sad, so I wanted to change, Peter but, Parker I, went, but I forgot what I was going to say. The, the sense of the story is Peter Parker goes on a summer vacation. Everything's back to normal now that they've snapped everybody back together uh, from being gone for five years. There's a lot of mind trickery that they do, and those scenes are very cool. Yeah. The concept is cool, and how Peter overcomes it is really cool. Yeah. Steve did not like it. He's so sad. Man. Listen to how sad I was he is. Disappointed. Do you want a whole doctor? Um. Yeah. Give me him. So, uh, what are we gonna What are we gonna rank? No. This? What are you gonna rank it? Ready. Rank it by Black Dahlias. Black Dahlias. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to learn how to spell that soon. It's, I know how to spell it. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm gonna give it five point nine Black Dahlias. Yeah, it was, like, disappointing. Still good. It was entertaining. It was fun. But, like, that one part took me out of the movie. And then when I don't believe that, now I'm, like, not buying the rest of the movie, which is tough for me to bounce back he from. He lost his trust. He's so sad. What do you got? I'm going to give it 6.5 because I had a good time. Okay. That's low for you. That's the lowest score you've ever given. I know. Because you're right. It wasn't the greatest. And I wish there was more Mary Jane. I wish... Did you just fart? Yeah, I did. Are you see? <laughs> Listen, I was holding farts. Steve gets a zero. All, <laughs> all movie. You got my soul. You, and it's tough. You guys know the guys out there. If you're in a movie and you have to crank a fart and you're sitting next to a, a father daughter combo, you just can't. I mean, I'm a bad person, but I am not that bad. But you can crank a fart in the bed of your future wife and yeah. not have a problem with it? Yeah. Also, why do you have to crank farts? Why can't you just... <laughs> <laughs> why can't you just fart? Like, why are you going to do a wind-up and a pitch, dude? We're in I, public. Dude, I saw it. Just let it seep. They did this in uh, Dr. Doolittle? No, yeah. no. Was it Dr. Doolittle? No, it was the Nutty Professor. The family's like clearing their colons and like... <laughs> and they do this arm pump and I just kept it forever. Hardest ever laughed in a movie. Go see it. Um, this and this is, is our review of The Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Dealing with us. And, uh, yep, gotta get the spray. Yeah, get it. Bye. Bye.